Welcome to Creepy Ghoul Vision. I am your host, Creepy Ghoul. Today, this video is for all you bangers out there. All you fucking bangers. Let's get started. Took advantage a couple of weeks ago of a Hell's Headbanger sale. Uh, when they when they have their sales, they're usually pretty good. This one was a 15% uh, off sale. Got some good stuff I've been meaning to get for a while. Uh, came in this week. Let's uh, pop it open. See what's happening. For all you bangers out there. All right. My trusty Exacto blade here. One thing about their packaging, it's pretty kick-ass. Hell's Headbangers, they know how to package the shit up, that's for sure. Oh yeah. Alright. There we go. Nice packaging here. Look at that, right? Whoa! Holy crap! Look at that. Look at that. Like Christmas. Oh, right off the bat. Uh, Hell's Headbangers are, have always been known to throw in, uh, regardless of the size of the order or amount of the order, some sort of cool freebies. Uh, from stickers to CDs to 7 inchers to t shirts to a bonus record or whatever. Uh, got a little sticker here. Witching Hour sticker. Never heard of them. Pretty cool sticker though. Heard of the Witching Hour UK, the goth band, but uh, this looks to be uh, maybe some black metal. We'll see. I'll look them up. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, so, first one, holy crap, I really packaged this up really good. Here's one I've been uh, meaning to get for a while, um, the original is hard to come by, um, I ended up getting this, uh, nor normally I don't buy reissues, it's got to be a damn good reissue for me to buy it, like we're talking like bonus shit. And, and whatnot. Um, High Roller has been putting out a lot of good shit, man. I'm telling you. Here's a reissue from High Roller of the classic. All you bangers watching this knows, knows all about this one. Blood Feast, Kill for Pleasure album. Alright. Got a lot of inserts. High Roller. Um, right there. High Roller. Uh, they've been known to put out... Uh, They've been known to respect the release, pretty much. Uh, they include all sorts of stuff. Like here you got like a poster of the album cover, inserts, uh, you name it. The reproduction is just phenomenal of the high roller releases. But yeah, classic album, Blood Feast, Kill for Pleasure. Um, let's check out the wax. Clear wax. All right. And, and one of the reasons um, why, when you order records, uh, you find that the record in the sleeve comes out of the jacket, usually like that, um, is because during shipping, uh, things tend to get bumped around and shake, shaken around or whatever. Um, so this protects the actual jacket from getting like dinged and whatnot or ring wear type of thing. Um, that's just one of the main reasons why, but yeah, great packaging. Some people even store their records like that, actually. I don't, but you can. Okay. Oh, never mind. Okay, next up. 
Yes. We have the Rod in Christ Satanus Tetum uh, demo. This is dark. This is absolutely mystical beyond belief. Uh, essential Greek black metal. Okay? Um, I found out many years ago, many, many years ago, that Rod in Christ started out as a uh, crust punk band uh, type of thing. Um, I love crust punk. Um, and I managed to score an mp3 copy of their demo or the actual uh, Release from those days before the black metal stuff and it was pretty damn good man. I tell you it was really good shit but yeah Let's have a look at the wax White Next up, we've got, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot all about this one actually. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, Mutilation from France. Um, this one is called The Lost Tapes. Um, it's apparently a uh, one-man band a rehearsal. Um, he, uh, I think it was a singer who, or sorry, the guitarist, I believe, or who redid some of the old songs in just a, a rehearsal. That's the history of this release right here. Um, it wasn't supposed to be released, but it was released. Um, those of you who know Mutilation know that it's just dark, basement quality, old school black metal. Uh, the way shit was meant to be. So I'm excited to give that a spin. I heard some uh, sample tracks of it online. Good shit. Classic black wax. So there we go. Mutilation, uh, again, essential French black metal. Okay, here we go. Uh, this, actually, this one actually prompted me to do the order in the first place. Um, demonized by Sodom. Um, this is the demos um, the Witching Metal, Victims of Death, and um, also outtake tracks from Victims of Death. Uh, if you're just getting into Sodom, this is not for you. Okay, stick to, start off by listening to In the Sign or Obsessed, uh, but this one's not for you. Um, this is like basement, tape recorder quality, Sodom, raw, primitive, good shit. If you know the so early Sodom songs and whatnot, then yeah, you'll appreciate this. But, like I said, if you're just getting into Sodom, don't listen to this first. Let's, uh, check it out. Oh, wow. That's a nice gatefold. Any inserts? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's check out the wax. I believe it's, uh, yeah. Uh, clear white. Really happy to have this. Heard some samples online and uh, was hooked. Really good raw shit. Essential German speed metal. Thrash. Black Death. Sodom. And finally, last but not least, uh, a band from uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Goat Lord. Check out that cover. Doesn't get any better. Now, this is the Sodomize the Goat demo from 88. Uh, again, basement quality, tape recorder, four track even, uh, sludgy, slow, dark, um, done the right way. It's, it's, uh, doom, done the right way, I think. So this one here is a gatefold. And it's a double LP just because <laughs> the songs are, are really slow and sludgy and uh, there's a lot of them. So they did it over two LPs. 
Uh, look at that. That's uh, beer color. Beer. Speaking of beer. There we go. All right, Goat Lord. Yeah, Sodomize the Goat Demo 1988. Good shit. Oh, it even comes with a uh, really nice poster of the demo cover. <laughs> Again, there you go. The Goat Fucker. Alright guys, that's it. That was my uh, Hell's Headbangers haul order. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. More to come. Like, share, subscribe, give me some thumbs up. This video was for all you fucking bangers out there. Alright. Creepy Ghoul signing off. <laughs>